Hey guys, it's Nicole here. Your Wednesday on some fidget tweens. So, hello guys, it's still Nicole here. Caution, I might be a little bit weird in this video. Whoa, it's a rainbow! Okay, I should probably get to the point. So you might already know, but this week's theme on Seven Fancy Tweens is what to do when blink. I'm sorry guys, I just had to see what that would look like in slow motion. So my video is gonna be what to do when you want to eat sugar, but you're on a no added sugar diet. But wait, there's more. Also, how slash why to go on a no added sugar diet. So some of you, most of you actually probably don't know this. Uh, and this is also going to be one of my facts on um, Seven Awesome Girls when I make my video on Friday. But um, I am currently going on a two week no added sugar diet. Uh, and I started yesterday, me and my mom, she's supporting me so she's going to do it as well. And we both love sweets so this is kind of complicated for us to do. And we just started yesterday so two weeks is going to be a little bit feisty or whatever you want to say. But um... Um, basically, um, in this video, I'm going to be saying, um, how and why to go on a, um, no added sugar diet. Also, as well as what to do when, um, you want sugar, but you can't have sugar because you're on this diet. So, um, this is actually going to kind of be a helpful video, maybe, possibly, I'm not really sure. Um, not very many people go on sugar diets, like kids, I mean, and mostly kids watch this, obviously. So, um, this may not occur to you or whatever, but even if it doesn't occur to you, I'm going to try to make it kind of funny and humorous. So, you can still stay tuned. So... Um, yeah, let's just get right into it. So some of you may be asking, why in the world would I go on a no added sugar diet? And I totally understand why you're asking that question. I mean, we're young, we're children, we're not supposed to worry about our weight at this age. And added sugar is literally like everywhere in this world. It's in chips, it's in candy, it's in cheesecake. And to be really honest, and you know it's true, as kids... It's everywhere. I mean, like, ice cream, we get candy all the time. It's just coming. So why? Why? I'm going to answer that question. Trying to make it short, but I probably can't. Long story short, um, it helps you, um, and I'm not trying to persuade you because you do your thing, I'll do mine. Also, um, quickly, I just want to say I do suggest this diet for 13 older, not 12 and under, because 12 and under, you shouldn't have to worry about diets because you're too young and you're kind of free. So I'm going to just get that out of the way. Also, uh, like I said, I'm not trying to persuade you. Uh, you do your thing, I'll do mine. So reason that I did it is because um, I was point one away from type 2 diabetes. I don't know how close that is. I don't know if that's like far away, if that's close. I don't know. But, um, and like, I just like, I thought that if I go on a, uh, and that check too, in case you don't know, it's too much sugar. And um, I started exercising, but I feel like that's not enough. I'm really worried and kind of scared. And we started doing this in our health class. And um, so I decided to do it because that will lower my sugar level and hopefully get me a little bit far further away from diabetes. That was about four months ago that I learned that, so I don't know, maybe it's too late, hopefully it's not. But um, yeah, so it will keep you away from heart disease and type 2 diabetes, and it will lower your sugar level. And I think, even though it's really hard, it will make you very proud. And uh, for you, it will be your own personal goal, so you could do it for two days, five days, a week, uh, a year. Uh, Suntard on the Shade Tards, he did it for a year, and he's younger than me, so I look like a fool only doing it for two weeks. But uh, I'm motivated from him because he's very um, inspirational, and I think he's very strong. So that's my reasoning of why. So now you might be like, oh, yeah, I see why I should do it, but how? So, um, now I'm going to be giving you four tips on how to, like, start and plan your diet. Tip number one is tell your family about your diet. If you tell your family, they can support you, they can do it with you, and they can make sure they don't take you out for sugar. Or buy any sweets. Tip two is set your dates and make sure that they're good dates. Basically, make sure that while you're on your diet, there's going to be no crazy holidays where there's going to be like a whole bunch of sweets involved. Examples could be Christmas, Thanksgiving, your birthday, or Memorial Day. And there's more, but those are just some examples. Tip three is when you're shopping, don't look at the candy aisles. Don't even look. Also, try to avoid looking at things like cake, cheesecake, cookies, Things like that. Chips. Basically all those sweets that you're avoiding because it will just make you want to give up and eat it. Tip four is know what items have added sugar. Know what you're avoiding. Basically this will help you know what you can eat and what you can't eat. So then if you accidentally eat something that you can't eat because you didn't know it had added sugar, you're going to give up. 
Also a tip one, I just added tell everyone because then you'll feel more motivated and more committed and they can also support you. So tell everyone. So I said I had four tips, but I actually have five. So tip five is to reward yourself when you're done. You can actually even reward yourself every day. Every day that you don't eat added sugar, you can reward yourself just like with a high five with yourself or just a good job, Nicole. So yes, every single day, um, so not just when you're done, but every single day mentally reward yourself. Say like, you know, good job and feel really proud of yourself because you're doing a good job. But when you're all the way done, do something you haven't been able to do for two weeks. Go out for ice cream. You'll feel extra proud and you'll love the ice cream. So now that I've told you kind of like how to get started and how to go through it, now I'll be telling you what the video is really supposed to be about, how to refuse sugar when you want it. Tip number one is chew gum. So actually make sure that it's sugar-free gum. Um, and just to let you know, extra gum is sugar-free in case you're looking for a sugar-free gum. So as long as it's sugar-free, it will help because just grab out a piece and start chewing it and don't share it with your friends because you're going to need enough to last the two weeks. But basically just grab a piece, start chewing, and as long as it's sugar-free gum, it will stop you from wanting sugar. I almost assure you. I mean, everyone's different, but for me, it really does help. Tip number two is to eat mints. Just like gum, as long as it's sugar-free, which icebreaker kind is, it will help. Because it tastes just like candy, but it's not. Because it's sugar-free, so just eat a mint and it'll taste like candy and you'll love it. And it'll help. Once again, don't share with your friends because you have to make it last two weeks. Tip three is to make a goal. So if you set a goal, then if you see some sweets that you really want to eat, because they look really good, then you'll just think about your goal and then you'll say, oh yeah, I really want to get that goal and it will motivate you. Tip four is to practice your refusal skills. So basically, if you practice your refusal skills, when someone offers you candy, it will be really easy to say no. And if you have to say a reason, then you can. Tip five is to talk to someone or find someone who's also doing this challenge and you can talk to them. If you find someone else who is also doing this diet, you can talk to them and you guys can kind of give each other support and you can kind of talk about how you're doing in the diet, things like that. If you can't find someone else who's also doing this diet, you can also just find a friend or just someone to talk to for support. Tip six, find something to replace with your sugary sweets. So let's say that you just got home from school and there's nothing to eat because all of it has added sugar. Well, maybe instead you can eat a granola bar or some yogurt. Also, let's say that you pack some chips for lunch usually. Well, maybe you can replace the chips with, some, with a banana or an apple. Tip seven is to stay busy. If you're always doing something, you'll never have time to eat or you'll ne you won't even be thinking about eating so you'll never have the desire to eat food. Tip eight, I think, is just go on a walk. Believe it or not, if you go on a walk, it will take your mind off of the sugar, it will just be a nice little stroll, and you'll be walking away from the situation. Tip nine is to eat regularly. Eat every single meal of the day, breakfast, lunch, and dinner, because then you might never be hungry, and you won't have a craving for sugar. Tip ten is to get enough sleep. The survey says that the majority of people that don't get enough sleep are the ones that are craving sugar. And if you don't have enough energy, then you crave sugar. And I'm sorry this video is so long, but my last tip, tip 11, is to drink water. Oftentimes, dehydration is um, misunderstood, like, from hunger. So you may think that you're hungry, but you're really dehydrated. It's also healthy and, um, like, you know, so why not? Okay guys, so I really, 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 really do apologize for the video being so long. This was kind of like a helping video, so I hope this helped you maybe, and um, I hope that maybe you learned something, I don't know. So, um, you should probably give this video a thumbs up and a nice comment, maybe some support for me, and add to favorites maybe? So instead of doing my regular outro, this is going to be my outro. Thumbs up the video, leave a nice comment, maybe some support, maybe add to favorites. Subscribe to 7 Fancy Tweens and watch me every Wednesday. And also our old Instagram got, got deleted. So our nice Kara, uh, who is a new member here, she made us a new one. So follow that, which will always be in the description. Okay, so I hope you enjoyed and I will see you guys next Wednesday. Sorry it's up late. Bye! Also, don't forget to always read the description because sometimes it's updated. It has awesome information. Yeah!